Welcome everyone to Yin Yoga. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next hour practice. Our focus for our class is on relaxation, restoring, reconnecting to our body, mind and soul. As we move through our daily life, as we move day to day, finding that reconnection with ourself. Thinking about calm, thinking about peace as we move through a class also. Beginning, we'll sit on our mat. I'll just move over to the mat. You can have a couple cushions or a couple blocks beside you. So sitting let's do a little shift side to side here first bring both of your feet together with your soles touching relax through the shoulders with a nice big inhale breath and exhale we begin Inhale breath, exhale breath. Taking note of your breath. Letting your shoulders start to soften. And then just a little movement back and forth. and then hold stillness. We will take butterfly down to the ground. If you would like to remain sitting, you are more than welcome. You can do a fold forward also. You can have cushions under your knees for support or your blocks. You can lie on the side also with a block between your knees. Coming down to the floor is your choice now. So having your blocks ready, lying on your back, taking one block on one side and then one on the other. We're turning our knees out to butterfly. This is bound angle pose. Letting your knees rest on your cushions or your blocks with the soles of your feet touching. Let your hands rest. You can turn your palms up towards the sky. You can close your eyes and then let yourself find stillness. Here, if you find that your mind is very busy, come back to your breath.
Notice your body start to settle. If you find that your lower back is really lifting off of the ground, you can place a blanket underneath your lower back. You can also draw your legs together and having your knees bent to help soften through the lower back. Gently come out of bound angle pose. So draw one knee into the center, other knee into the center, and then draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze and hold. Letting your lower back soften. Reconnecting to yourself, finding your inner strength. Gently taking one foot down to the ground and then the other foot down to the ground. Taking your box over just to the side. Our next posture is cattail. Taking both knees up and then take your legs up and over to the right side. Come over to the side of your body. Taking your bottom leg, which is your right leg back. Top leg, left leg, over top, and then lift your left arm up and over, holding on, if you like, to your left ankle. Your head can be looking up towards the sky or gently over to the right side. Let your eyes close. Notice any sensations running through your body. If you need to shift, please do so and then find that stillness again. Slowly releasing cattail. 
and then roll over to your back. Again, drawing your knees in towards the chest. Taking your feet down to the ground first before you move into the other side for cattail, you can lie on your other side of the body. Take your right leg over, left leg behind. Just have to scooch the hips a bit here to set yourself up. If you'd like, hold onto the right, the left ankle with your right hand turning your palm up towards the sky of your left hand. You can turn your head up towards the sky or just let it rest. You can turn your head the opposite way too. Up your arm. Let your eyes close. You can scooch the right leg back a little bit or the left leg back a little bit more too. Right leg forward. And then again, find the stillness. Slowly making your way out of cattail, releasing gently. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Let your lower back soften to the ground. And then slowly rele releasing the right foot down to the ground, left foot down to the ground, making your way into banana sana, the shape of our banana. Taking your legs over to the left side. And then taking your arms up and over to the left side. I'll just turn this way so you can see me. Our hips are going to be in the center and then walk your legs over to the left side. Walk your arms over to the left side. If you like, cross your right ankle over the left ankle. Hold on to your hands or hold onto your elbows. If this doesn't work for you with your arms overhead, your arms can just be resting onto your chest. Finding what is comfortable for you. Feel length coming through the side of your body. Through your IT band, all up your leg. 
into, into your intercostals, into the root cage. And find that stillness. Slowly releasing your arms. And then you're releasing your ankle. Walk your upper body back and then walk your legs back. Okay, into the other side. We'll just move over a little bit so you can see me again. Walking our legs over first to the right side. Walk your upper body over to the right side. Again, you can cross your ankles over top of each other. So left over the right, and then arms overhead too, if you like. And holding on to your elbows. And then finding stillness.
slowly release your arms and cross your ankles. Take your upper body back and then lower body back to the center. Bending both of your knees, draw the knees into the chest. A little squeeze. Take the right foot down, left foot down, both knees are bent. Roll over to your right side and then make your way up. Caterpillar will be next. If you have a pillow, you can use that. You can have your knees bent with a blanket underneath your knees also for support. So it would look like a roll blanket, I should say. Underneath for some support. You can have a pillow on top of your legs here. My pillow matches my pants, I see. So hopefully you can see it <laughs> in the camera. Relax your shoulders. Caterpillar. Nice big inhale breath, exhale, hold. So finding what's going to work for you. Your pillow can go however you like here, so wherever it's going to be comfortable. And then let the forehead rest. You can also use block too to let the forehead rest. If you need to remove any props, also please do so and then find stillness again. You can turn your head over to one side. Your forehead does not have to be down. We are about halfway. So if your head is turned to one way, you can lift it up and turn it to the other side.
gently making your way out of caterpillar. Okay. Remove your pillow or any of your props. Bend the knees, move your blanket. I'll just turn my body. We're opening up our legs into a V for dragonfly. If you like, you can have your pillow in front to let the forehead rest. So however you like to let the forehead rest here, toes up towards the sky, relax through the shoulders, and nice big inhale. Exhale, fold. You can also let the forehead rest on your hands with your elbows coming down. Be here for another couple minutes, letting your mind turn inward, finding that reconnection to yourself, finding a deeper relaxation, using your breath to help. Gently making your way out of dragonfly. Bending both the knees. And I'll just turn my body. We'll make our way into shoelace. 
right leg coming up and over top of the left leg. The goal is to have the knees stacked on top of each other. So just a little shift. Relax your shoulders. Let them settle. Think about drawing your shoulders away from the ears. You can hold on to your ankles. Let your eyes close. Let your breath soften. Let your hips start to settle. If this posture is not working for you, you can lie on your back with your ankle crossed over your knee. So it could be the right ankle crossed over the left knee. You can also do it sitting on a chair. We'll be in this posture for another minute. Slowly starting to come out of shoelace. And then take the right leg under, left leg over top. And then again, finding what's accessible for you. You may want to lie on your back and have your left ankle crossed over the right knee or you're sitting on a chair. Relax your shoulders again. Let the shoulders release away from your ears. Close your eyes. And then let your breath soften.
and opening up your eyes, releasing your top leg from the bottom leg. A little windshield wiper through our knees. Just take the legs, feet wider than the hips, and then windshield wiper. Make your way to all fours for swan. And then step forward with the right hand, left hand. You can come up into downward facing dog if you like. And then take your right knee towards the right wrist. Take your left leg behind. Sitting up nice and tall for swan. And then sleeping swan if you like, coming down to the floor. But before you do, please set yourself up for what is going to work for you so that you can be in this posture for longer. So you might want to use a block or a towel, a blanket. And then letting your right hip rest on it. You can uncurl the toes too if you find that your hips are square on the same plane. If you find that this doesn't work for your knee, you can come onto your back and again crossing your ankle, right ankle over the left knee. Coming into sleeping swan, letting the forehead rest. It could rest on your hands, could rest on a pillow, could rest on your mat. Finding what is going to be accessible for you again. Now some of the postures could be a little uncomfortable at first because we're holding them for a longer period of time. Take notice of that and see if you can help, help, can help yourself by using a prop. But those muscles that we are helping to release, they are definitely tighter. It's the fascia, the connective tissue lying over top of the muscles, letting ourselves release a little bit deeper here now, finding that stillness.
slowly making your way out. Sleeping Swan. Coming into the other side. Set yourself up with whatever you need first for your props for the other side. You can come into all fours. You can step forward with the right hand, left hand into the downward facing dog. And then step the left knee to the right wrist, turn the left knee out. Take your blanket, cushion, whatever is going to work for you. You can set it underneath the left hip, toes down to the ground at first to help square the hips and then fold into Sleeping Swan. Let the forehead rest however you like. Could be that cushion. And stop the fists. Again, if this is too much for your knee, you can lie down, lie on your back and cross the left ankle over the right knee. Gently making your way out of Sleeping Swan, just when you're starting to find that release, <laughs> we're coming out of the posture. Okay, and then slowly releasing. Remove your props from the sides. Okay, one for posture, and then we'll make our way into Shavasana. If you like, you can use a block or you can use a cushion for support. 
it is bridge. So roll over to your side and then come over onto your back. So you're in supine. You can have, if you don't have a block or you don't have a pillow handy, so you can touch your ankles first here. You can lift up your hips and you can hold up your hips with your hands. Please look up to the sky at all times when you are in bridge. If you do have a cushion or a block, place it underneath of your hips and let your hips rest. You can turn your palms up towards the sky. Close your eyes. Your breath softens. Slowly coming out of bridge. So if your pillow or block is underneath, removing your pillow or block first and then draw the hips down towards the ground. You can take your right arm above the head, roll over to your side and then move any of your props away. So you will have free flowing energy, none of your energy is being blocked by any of your props for Shavasana. For Shavasana, you can lie in Supta Baddha Konasana. What we did at the beginning, it was bound angle pose. You can do that with your knees up to the side. You can have your knees pointing up to the sky. You can turn the palms up. Or you can have your legs, of course, out in a nice V. Your legs can be up the wall also, or lying on your side, finding what's going to be working for you. We'll be in Shavasana for five minutes. So make sure that you're nice and warm. You can place a blanket onto yourself. Put your socks on. I will call you back when it is time.
Slowly starting to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Noticing your breath. Noticing a calm. A little shift through the body. If you're lying down, you can bend through the knees. You can take the right arm above your head and then roll over to the right side and then make yourself, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Your hips higher than the hamstrings. Placing your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Such a wonderful community that we have together. Thinking of hearing our calm and our peace as we move through the rest of our week. Finding that reconnection to ourself and finding that relaxation with all we do. Namaste.